There is a recipe for success in Distress today. You call it Distress 3.0. Yes. What's Distress 3.0? So Distress 3.0 is using these distressed companies as platforms. And a platform is you're buying, you're getting in at an attractive price, and then you're building it. And in order to have that, you have to have the right management team, you have to have an M&A capability, you have to have additional capital. This is basically just private equity where you're buying in at a lower rate. That's, it's, 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 it's as simple as that. But that's different than 1.0, which was basically Philip Morris versus Orgero Nabisco. When I first got in the business, uh, RJR Nabisco was trading at a discount to Philip Morris. You could buy RJR Nabisco um, debt at four times leverage at 15% yields. Um, it was a food and tobacco company. Philip Morris, food and tobacco company, doing a little better operationally, but at eight times, nine times. And that seemed like a pretty good margin of safety. So that's you know, almost ancient at this point. Distress 2.0 was what? 2.0, and, and 2.0 is still very um, evident where you just have a weak management team and you, they're not executing the strategy. And, but um, the difference between 1.0 and 2.0 is 1.0, you're just changing the capital structure. So it could be an IPO, which is what happened with Orgero and Nabisco. Mm -hmm. um, but you're basically arbitraging markets. And 2.0 is the execution's been very poor. And you basically need to um, change the management team. But once you get competent management team, if they do what they're supposed to, it's you're basically buying in at a cheap price uh, relative to what the light companies trade trade for that are publicly, and then you exit. On 3.0, and that takes time. That's not instantaneous because they're doubters. And then 3.0 is basically 2.0 plus you're using it as a platform to build a better business and um, something that's more significant, and it takes longer. But you need to have a much more direct role in creating that value. It doesn't happen on its own.